Now again, that warm front will be close to I-96, maybe even at I-96. By the time we head towards 6, 7 o'clock, everyone south of that will be breaking into some 70s. We've already got some 70s out there. If you don't get to 70, you'll be well into the 60s. As we move into the evening hours, we're starting to see that warm front getting into our northern county, so everyone will start to break into the lower and middle 60s, even a few upper 60s out there for the entire night ahead. It's going to be a very mild summer-like night. You may even hear a few crickets out there. Who knows? We're going to be feeling a very uh, May, June-like for our overnight lows in the low to mid 60s, and that's what we wake up to tomorrow. But it's a thing of the past as we move into the evening hours. Low to mid 40s are expected by 8 o'clock tomorrow. So we get to break out of the cloudier skies tonight. We will see some clearing, but eventually those clouds build back in for the morning, and that cold front will swing on through. By the evening hours, we're drying out. Can't rule out a few isolated sprinkles, light rain showers off of Lake Michigan. But for the most part, we stay dry on Friday evening, going to be locked in the clouds, but we see some sunshine returning as we head into Saturday, 49 Saturday, 49 Sunday. So not a great looking weekend, but at least the first half of the weekend is better than the second as we see more sunshine on Saturday with rain showers returning later on Sunday.